All month we have been recognizing the LGBTQ plus community for pride. Particularly the history and the fight for rights here in Maine. News Center Maine's Zach Blanchard takes a look at a more recent part of that history. Brian and Sam, if you ask anyone what a turning point for gay rights was, most will point to the right to marry. For one couple in Maine, they never realized just how much their marriage would mean. So many albums. Stephen Bridges and Michael Snell look back on their wedding day. We sat there for two hours. A little differently than most. It, it was crazy and, and we didn't have time to think about it. No tuxes, just t-shirts. No guests, just reporters. The daughters were texting us like you're trending on the News Channel 6 website. You're trending on this and over and over and over making us a lot more nervous. Here, it's really did it. When it struck midnight on December 29th, 2012, Stephen and Michael became Maine's first gay couple to legally marry. And we finally feel equal and happy to live in Maine. New same-sex marriage law went into effect at midnight in Maine. Their story quickly went national. I think it really hit home for me the next day. I went into my office and somebody stopped me in the hallway that had seen the news and said, oh my God, you're part of Maine history now. History that took a long time to create. So there's a way in which the road to marriage nationally certainly flows in part through Maine. Murray Bonato played a big part in that here in Maine and nationwide. In April 2009, the Maine legislature passed a bill to legalize same-sex marriage, only for it to be overturned by voters months later. Seems in the end, that Mainers are not ready to treat these families fairly. And in 2012, voters changed their minds. I'm not sure any state could have won a ballot measure on this issue in 2009, but Maine was a big part of making it possible to show the way of how to win directly with the people, not in court, not in the legislature, but directly with the people. Maine became the first state in the country to legalize gay marriage by popular vote. Bonato took that momentum straight to the U.S. Supreme Court to fight state bans on same-sex marriage and won. Same-sex marriage was legalized nationwide in 2015. Today, the court stood by a principle in this nation that we do not tolerate laws that disadvantage people because of who they are. But the fight is far from over. I know we're at a point of fear right now, but I am very hopeful that just as we have faced down fears before, we will, uh, we will get through this. I understand there are gonna be setbacks. Gia Drew with Equality Maine advocates for LGBTQ plus Mainers every day. Scary moment was last year when the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade. And in that conversation, we heard other Supreme Court justices saying, if we can do that, maybe we should re-examine all the things we've ruled are on LGBTQ rights. It's why recent attacks on gay and transgender people have hit especially close to home. Right now, lawmakers in Augusta are considering a number of anti-LGBTQ legislation. As the content was not age appropriate. The issues have even reached local school boards. And that's what I'm most worried about, our young people today feeling like they can't be themselves. And for Michael and Steven, whether they expect it or not, they now recognize being a part of Maine's history and sharing their story is important. Even though this wedding, captured more than 10 years ago, isn't the one they hold on to. This one is. We actually had a commitment ceremony because we didn't think it was going to happen anytime soon. They say their love was real, whether it was legal or not. It was pretty special right from the first time we met. Now, both Michael and Steven say they have tried to stay away from the spotlight, but realize how important their story is to others in the LGBTQ plus community here in Maine. Brian and Sam. Zach, our thanks to you. And remember, you can watch all of the stories Zach has been telling us throughout Pride Month in a special report, Maine Pride, streaming only on New Center Maine Plus.